Hey guys, and welcome back to Sports Design School, where we teach you everything you need to know to create high quality sports designs in Adobe Photoshop. Today we have an awesome tutorial and a quick tutorial for you. It's something that's pretty simple to do, but it's very important to learn, and that's cutting out hair in Photoshop. Now, hair can be very difficult to cut out sometimes, especially if you have someone with thick curly hair or... Uh, let's face it, all kinds of long hair are pretty hard to cut out because Photoshop is great at cutting out like hard surfaces or hard lines or things like that. But when it comes to hair and there's transparency and things like that, Photoshop isn't always the best at handling that. So today I'm going to show you how to cut out one of the ways to cut out hair in Adobe Photoshop. So let's get started. Now before we dive in, make sure you like this video if you are enjoying it so far and make sure you subscribe to our channel. We have lots of awesome videos coming soon, including some free PSD giveaways. Now a reminder, those PSDs will only be active for the first seven days after our video. So make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of those free PSDs. Seriously, they're gonna be awesome. You guys are gonna love it. But back to cutting out hair. So I'm gonna start off by just cutting out this image. I have this Justin Fields image I just pulled off of Google right here. Um, if you want to know all the different ways to cut out someone in Photoshop, I'll look up the card right here. There's a video I just put out a couple days ago about how all the different ways to cut out a player in Photoshop, but for now I'm just going to do it nice and quick. Just like that, I selected my subject. Isn't that kind of nice? And I'm not going to hit select and mask. So I have my select and mask viewport up here. And as you can see, there's some errors down here, but that's not what we're worried about for this video. That's pretty easy to fix. What we're worried about is here and his hair. And you'll notice like right here and right here and right here. If we were to go through with a pen tool or even with just a brush and try and remove that, it would be next to impossible to try and do in a way that looks natural. Like for instance, if I go through and I Let's just say like that, I have to go through and, I mean, what do I, what do I do there? And like, it just looks kind of weird. That's not how his hair actually looks. So I'm going to show you an easy way to get perfect hair in Adobe Photoshop, especially in a situation like this where you have um, a decent amount of contrast. And what we're going to do is use this brush over here on the left side that has a little fireball underneath it called the Refine Edge brush tool. I almost said refine edge tool, but refine edge brush tool. And all we're going to do is go into one of these areas that we want to kind of refine the edge of our hairline. Make sure this brush is selected and I'm just going to paint like this. And you'll see Photoshop is working some of its magic and boom, it automatically removes the gray parts of our image. Let's do it over here. All the way around here. And you'll see it working and boom all of the gray background of our image is gone but you'll notice it preserved the transparency of our hair and gives it the natural hair look that it would actually have let's keep going over here in this back part normally that would be super hard to do but boom photoshop does this for us and of course whenever we're done which we can go around and do all the edges if we want to and just highlight everything and then boom I'm saying boom a lot and once we're done we're just gonna hit OK and proceed like it's a normal mask and you can see our hair has perfect transparency so that's it guys it's that simple if you enjoyed this video and learned something new make sure you drop us a like seriously we appreciate it so much we're almost coming up to 100 subscribers guys which is a huge milestone and we're definitely planning on putting out something big for that so make sure you hit subscribe if you want to subscribed already so we can get up to 100 subscribers. But also, if you already are subscribed and you want to help out the channel, make sure you hit a like so that we can get this video in front of more people. It's been real, guys. Have a great one.